Hi, welcome to Start PHP. This is part two of the series of three part of introduction to PHP for absolute beginners. So I strongly recommend that you have to watch part one before coming to this part. So let's get started. Now let's get in printing sample text using PHP. Means uh, all the files, the three files that we have are shown here. We've already opened them. If you close it, just double click it will reopen here so this is comment uh, so with a exclamation mark and two dash greater than and less than sign here at the middle whatever you type will be ignored so I'm deleting it so this is the most basic uh, page of HTML so this is HTML code and here is the title so when you write PHP code you have to put this greater than sign question mark PHP and then this is a closing tag whatever you type would be at the middle so whatever you type would be at the middle so the first thing that you can do on a print on the screen it will be print just type print and then Double code with a shift it creates two double codes for me so so when you now let's type it welcome to PHP now you see NetBeans is very nice program it tells you opening and closing this page has HTML and that is the closing the closing is identified by forward slash so this is a document type on the top which is required so this is HTML, the whole page is HTML and this is head and that's a closing when I go to title that's a closing this is a body everything that you display on the screen will be inside body so to run this and test it with a server so you can select your browser that you have so in my case my default browser is Firefox so go and run and then run file so we can press shift F6 so that is welcome to a PHP as you can see it if you look at the code here it says PHP print and then quotation and quotation but let's have a look here I'm pressing shift uh, control and U you see between the body and the closing tag of body you just see welcome to PHP you don't see the that question mark and all those so which means when the server runs it checks here it says okay this is a PHP and this is a command and this command says print this on the screen or print this as a text so we get the text like that so if you want to increase the size you can also put here header size 1 and that is a closing save it come back here go to the main page just refresh and you'll see it, it, it it's now header one here if I refresh that code page so you see h1 have been printed and h1 closed another way to print text on the screen is called echo So by the way, this this is the title and that's the text. That title is this that shows at the top. Now let's have a look at PHP documentation. PHP is very huge in terms of functions and feature it has. So you will not be able to remember all of those. In fact, you will remember few that you use and then the rest you will refer to PHP. And the main website that provides that is php.net. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to php.net this is the main website that people download you see they can download PHP but when you install WAMP that WAMP also contains PHP so you don't have to worry to get any information about any of the things related to PHP you can type at the search or the best option would be that for example for print just type print so that is referring to how the print works so print was introduced at 4, 5 and 7 as you can see 
and here is the description what it does print is not actually a real function blah blah and here are the examples so here it shows the print can be used this way this way and so forth so for echo the same way and so forth for for example the for loop you can put four and here you will see the for what for loop is and so forth that was how you can use the documentation because we will come for this multiple times now let's talk about php variables php variables are an entity or a piece of information is stored in such a way in the memory that php can recall and use it within the life of a program that runs so you can have some value and you can use it multiple times so let's practically see you can have php code anywhere above this here at the bottom wherever but because we, we want to print it here so let me just go here above and then it says opening and closing so i'm just putting my cursor here going down so you can go as much as you wish and we can put our code here let me see dollar uh, so let's say dollar hello equals so now this line uh, you start with dollar sign and then a word that that should not be common that should not be special it should not start with number so if you start with number you get error so so that that is a variable called hello so the dollar sign at the beginning tells the php that this is a variable equal sign and this is a value so this hello people of the world is a value assigned to hello now this hello can be used to print or do something with it for example so you see I put this semicolon every PHP code line which when ends you put semicolon but because I'm also putting the closing this is not required I just put it by habit because every time I do that I'm used to putting that so hello people of the world even though the code is at the top and it shows here if you look at the code uh, control U hello people of the world you see h3 has been printed and while my php code the variable was between these two tag above this html so my point is that this is being executed from here to here is not part of html so the hello comes here now the variables can have a type which means you can create one variable to hold a numerical value or integer or you can have mm, you can create a variable type of character that holds only one character but generally you can assign variable to any value without uh, determining or assigning the type it will simply work except in some instances that are very sensitive they are very sensitive you need to assign the type otherwise it it, it simply work works so let's say age and then here 34 I did not put here quotation the reason for that is that so let me increase the size of the text to increase the size of the text click tools options font and colors go here and this is a default this is a fo font so click here and then that's 13 let's say put it at 16 okay apply okay so now the text become a little larger this uh, screen that you see here uh, as you see this is project window so if you want to minimize it it just goes there all of this so you just click it shows up okay so my screen is now bigger 
So 34 is assigned into dollar age. Dollar age is a variable because this is a number I did not put quotation. When you do not put quotation, this number can do uh, addition, subtraction, and some mathematical calculation in it, even if you put that. So, but anyways, for numbers, you don't need to put quotation. And then, So it says I am age years old and age is 34. So this piece is coming from variable within this and it is being printed. You can have different type of, uh, let's say the price of something is $2.78 so you can put comment in PHP the same way like many other languages so to forward slash like that so you can put your comment or you can put your comment here this is a single line comment for multiple line comment we just put this uh, forward slash and then star and that's closing. This star is not required, but makes your life easy. So uh, if you type anything, so as soon as you press enter, automatically it adds all those value for you. So, so this is let me add a break and then So I can have this one as header one. You see autocomplete of this the, uh, program is amazing, $2.78. You can have variable that has another variable, for example, uh, capital B. like this and then you can print B here so when I when I press dollar sign uh, NetBean suggests that these are the my variable and these are the built-in variables so I can just double click and B will be printed now let's run it so Hello people of the world 34 so this is hello and age so that text and this text shows here and all of this is assigned into dollar b so dollar b is printed if you want to do some calculation you can do for example days so you want to find that somebody's age is somebody's age is 34 and you want to find the number of days so you can say age times 365 so that means multiply so in instead of price let me just print days so that was number of days now let's see if you want to change the age and add 5 to it so again you can say age is equal age plus 3 so that 34 plus 3 is now 37 if we have anywhere age so that you will see it as 37 so this is here and also here let me see so this is 37 and this has not changed changed why as you can see here this is the value which is 34 34 is here but the addition comes later so how PHP assigns it it goes from the top to bottom whatever happens at the top computer doesn't know anything about it at the bottom and the change happens later and then the print here 
this happens after all that. So we have a variable called b, which is this text plus the age, which is 34. So it's being preserved here as a b, but then we change the age here. Even the number of days did not change. It was for 34 days, 34 years times 365. So the change will happen line by line. So this line will affect whatever is after that, not pre prior to that location. So this was the part two of the introduction for absolute beginners. Please continue watching part three to complete the series.